This guy's here. He's one of the best in the business when it comes to celebrity impressions. He was actually born here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, our buddy Frank Caliendo. You know, yes. here's the deal. I am struggling because one, Why? I just met Jeremy Roenick, who I'd never met. He's gonna, I don't know if you guys know this, he's gonna be on the show later. Yes. Uh, I do teases for later in the show as well. I don't <laughs> oh. really do audience pro <laughs> <laughs> They're getting good at They're this. They're getting good. They're getting so good. I met Jeremy Roenick, and then they've got pizza over there, and that's all I can think about. You get that? Get a shot of that pizza, <laughs> Corinthian. Yes. <laughs> Aurelio's in the you house. And Jeremy Roenick. And Jeremy Roenick, which I think, what would be better than Jeremy Roenick <laughs> delivering pizza to me on the set? There it is. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Around the neck. Around the neck. He's going to shoot it high. <laughs> we do it all there, over here. Oh, my goodness. I have never had Aurelio's pizza, and it's about oh. to. <laughs> the best, wow. best sausage on the planet. There you go. Oh, there you go. Jeremy Roenick. We're going to see him in a minute. Wow. I got I to gotta say, like. Wait a second. Don't go on with the show. Why did he leave with my pizza? <laughs> We got you're more a th Ronick, you're a thief. <laughs> you see that? I just shot some of the sausage. It's ground by them. They ground it themselves, and I shot it out that way. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> I was just going to ask if Charles Barkley was doing a food review of the... That'd be really, really good. You would never say that someone's pizza is terrible, especially if it's the opposite of terrible. It's very, very good. We can go through all of them. Jeff Goldblum, ha, ah, very good. I, uh, I love this pizza very much. <laughs> All right. Coach Ditka. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. If I to do Coach Ditka, I'm going to get in trouble, and the FCC is going to kick me off. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have thought about a plate ahead of time, but no problem with that. Uh, or just eat the oh, Ronick's delivering plates now. <laughs> there we go. There is. Jeremy Ronick. He's a man of many talents. I really want to hire Jeremy as our PA. Can we, can we hire him? I'm multi-talented, trust me. Here's how you can tell he hasn't been on the, in the rink for a while. He's winded right now. <laughs> that was two slight sprints. Like, oh, what am I doing? Imagine if you had to deliver pizzas for Elios. All right, so let's talk. We got, I got a show that Zanies and I've sold out 100% so we don't have to worry about that. The other reason I'm in town, one of the reasons I'm in town is that I wanted to visit you guys. Oh, and I found out that you knew Terry Bradshaw back in the day. <laughs> you, he walked out. And we're not allowed to talk about most of it. So uh, <laughs> what you read into that too much there, it was a, she was a PR person. He took her around like, let's go. And he introduced her as his wife the entire time True story. at the airport. And then I acted it out, and she's like, that's exactly what it was like. I know. <laughs> I spent some time with him. <laughs> so the other thing is I'm in town. My... Uh, my daughter is with me and my whole, the rest of my family. I don't want to choose her as the favorite, but for this segment, maybe. <laughs> no. Uh, she played in the NFL for a while. That's why. She's making a lot of money. Nope. That's a callback to the last segment. Uh, I like that. A plus for everybody who laughed there. Everybody's not catching up. I don't slow down, so you're going to have to speed up to catch up with me. <laughs> I could hire Morgan Freeman. And that's when the audience realized that Frank was never going to get to the point. All right. So. We're going over to Ace Comic Con this weekend. Oh, are and you? And I believe you're going to have somebody in here tomorrow. We sure uh, are. Garib, uh, Seamus is going to be in here. And uh, we're going to go see Spider-Man, Thor. Not the actors who play them. We're going to go actually see the superhero. Like, they go, is that real? No. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's going to be uh, tremendous. I almost went Trump, but it's going to be tremendous. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> what I really like to do. People are not sure. Oh, look at that. Oh, we're not sure, is he? What, should we be mad about that or laughing at Frank? This is what... <laughs> 2019 is. Um, listen, I'm not political at all, but that's a funny character. All right, so. <laughs> and George W. Bush is Well, right sometimes you just, uh, <laughs> what the heck were we talking about, man? <laughs> we can just go even and out, so it's not political. We can do President Obama. You gotta talk uh, slow at, at the beginning <laughs> and speed up at the end. I'm not even sure where we're going. Well, I'll correct it, we'll figure it out. I'll tell you what, she was my wife for one day, and that was a lot of fun. So, I'll be going to Ace Comic Con. Last time, do we have time? I don't know how we long it's We got time, go. Plenty. So, uh, <laughs> let's just spend it on eating pizza. <laughs> so, last time I went to, uh, my daughter had broken her elbow on her birthday a year ago. And it was on June 29th. Yeah, audience. Oh. 
I'm gonna need that when I do this. That's it. So my daughter had broken <laughs> her elbow on her birthday, June 29th, a year ago. Aww. <laughs> and uh, a year later, we were at uh, Ace Con, out, Ace Comic Con, out in Seattle, and we went to meet Jerem. Uh, what well, first we went to go see Josh Brolin. Now Josh Brolin who plays Thanos in Avengers and the, all those movies and stuff like that. He had used me as inspiration, my George W. Bush impression for the movie W. Wow. And I had some video of that too, which was pretty cool. So we went to go meet him. And my daughter's like, this is really cool. But Chris Evans was there as well, who plays Captain America. Sure. And I'm talking to Josh Brolin for a second in this dual like photo kind of thing at Ace Comic Con. And he, he's talking about, he says to Chris Evans, Captain America, he says, oh, this guy was inspiration for one of my roles. And then Chris Evans goes, which role? And I, of course, then said Thanos. And he, he was like, wait a second, who are you? Uh, I go, Frank Caliendo. He goes, oh my God, I'm, I'm a fan. He starts quoting things from my act. He's like, do some John Man. I'm like, there you go, boom, there you go. So I'm doing that, do some Green. I'm like, I tell you what, man, Captain America, don't throw that shield. You might not get it back. So then, so then it's just crazy. And my daughter goes, this is the best day of my life. And I'm like, Aww. oh, there you go. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, well, plan on it never getting better. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> and I was just putting, the first time that had happened though, we went to cons, we went in, Phoenix was the first one. When we met Tom Hiddleston who plays Loki. Mm -hmm. I'm Loki of Asgard and I'm burdened with glorious purpose. So uh, I do a Robert Downey Jr. as well. Uh, Chris Evans didn't enjoy it and apparently neither do you. So. Uh, <laughs> We'll go back to Morgan Freeman. That always works with everyone. <laughs> so, uh, I almost went, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going right now. <laughs> Pacino and De Niro are my two well, favorites that you do. Yeah, hold on. So, uh, I, figured, I figured it out where we're going. Hey, let them get to it, huh? Go see Joker. Maybe not the whole movie. So, uh, it's not a spoiler. Uh, no, no, no. I know the joke. So, right. yeah. Oh, wow. Pacino is the Joker. Ha, ha, ha. So uh, Tom Hiddleston, like I said, he plays Loki and he does a bunch of impressions. And this was the first time my daughter got to see my C-list star status really work well. Because he was like, yes, M, I am do impressions of people I work with in movies. I was like, oh, we're so similar. I do impressions of people I've seen in movies. So it was really cool and all this great stuff. And then we started doing Jeff Goldblum together. Hello, goodbye, why, why, why? <laughs> Is my favorite letter, yes, no, maybe. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, so it was so really creepy. cool. And then the point is, Terry Bradshaw, it once introduced me as his wife. <laughs> um, this is my wrap, it's okay. Speaking of your wife. Yes. Been married 16 years, huh? Is that, is that how long it is? Just celebrated 16 years. Seems like just a couple of months. <laughs> Underwater, right? Oh, uh, no, it's fantastic. <laughs> That's what she tells me. And uh, no, we, we, we have two children, my, my son, Joe, he uh, loves pizza as well. We're going to take him to Aurelio's. Uh, <laughs> he's, I can't get my head off. He's like, uh, I'll tell you what, man. So, uh, do you guys get the feeling that uh, you're watching a person implode right now? No. <laughs> get out. It's all on purpose. So, I have a question for you. I'm not done. I, 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 no, you are. I, I want to know. What, you let's say you and your wife have a little disagreement. Uh huh. Um, you went with disagreement, thank you. <laughs> I don't know where you're going with that, and that seemed more like daytime television. <laughs> well, I do watch General Hospital, yeah. but that's a story for another day. Do I go into a voice? Would you like you're it? Right. If, hey, wait a second. If I were with you and we were having a disagreement, would you enjoy me going into a voice? And that's when he realized he'd be sleeping on the couch for the next 10 years. That's what you think, that's what you think is a good idea? Arguing in character with your wife. That is losing <laughs> half your stuff. That's, at the, that's dividing. Immediately, there's a lawyer called like, he can't even keep himself straight. Did you see him on Windy City Live? <laughs> now, when you meet these celebrities, Frank, do they always ask you, hey, will you do the impression? I gotta imagine, most people are pretty flattered by it, right? Sometimes they do. Uh, the sports people can be a little bit weird um, because they're put on pedestals their entire lives, but. For the most part, people see, no, really, I'm not, I'm not, don't, don't, don't find the stuff that's supposed to be serious, funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I just swallowed some of that home ground. <laughs> you always want to make sure that you, <clears throat> is this good? Yep, that's good. <clears throat> Straight vodka. <laughs> <clears throat> now, I'll be done when I'm done. <laughs> no, that's not, see, now, you just said, that, that's a line you use as Pacino, though. <laughs>
<laughs> I have to, you have to understand. You have to understand. We've known each other for almost 15 minutes. So we have this kind of camaraderie, not unlike me and Ronick over there, where we're just pals. That's right. What was the question? Uh, I, well, I did see Barkley. I did see Barkley get a little rattled at first. Uh, no, he was great. Charles, he, Charles, he no, got, Charles was one of the He's like, Frank, you gotta keep doing me. I'm like, why is that? Because every time you do it, I end up making more money. <laughs> It's like, I don't even understand why. People hear you do it on the radio. Next thing you know, I get a new commercial for Taco Bell or Weight Watchers, which came right after Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm actually salivating from this pizza. I can't keep, I can't get it off my mind. It's really, uh, it's very, it's very good, yeah. <laughs>